This is virtual turntable with the uh, arcade button for uh, sampling anything that's going on in this world. Um, Bug brand postcard weevils. Feedback transducers. Nice for creating and generating rhythmic and textural material. And all of this is played through an amp with built-in transducers. I'm Paul Stapleton. I'm a professor of music at the Sonic Arts Research Center in Belfast. My background is in instrument design and performing, particularly improvisation. More recently, I've been working with a team of engineers and psychologists looking at building new digital musical instruments, particularly using physical modeling. We've just discovered the sensor morph, and it's opening up the interaction possibilities. Physical modeling is computational and algorithm that obeys physical laws of nature. So like when sound propagates when you hit a metal plate, um, the rules of how that propagates in the real world are replicated numerically in the computer. So you get sounds that sound highly realistic, like the, mater the materiality of the sound is really present. It also can pick up timbral differences in the type of instrument that we hit it with. And by using the contact mic, we're actually getting the force information at audio rate. And depending on how I hit it, it has those kind of properties you'd expect. It can detect um, through X, Y positions where, where it is that's being hit. Uh, where the morph gets more interesting uh, is that it can, you can now start to dampen things. You can also decide where the listening points are. So right now there's, it's equivalent of having like two contact mics on the plate in certain positions. Again, this is what you can do with virtual acoustic instruments that you can't do with real ones. By attaching the listening points, you're now actually dampening the plate. The other thing about physical modeling that's interesting to me is that you can also play with it in real time in ways that you can't with a, with a regular instrument. For example, if you had a piano, um, you're, you can't really change the size of the piano in real time. Or you can't change it from being made out of one material into another, right? Uh, well, with physical modeling, you can. It's a huge, big, weird plate. Let's tune that. When we first started designing these instruments, it was still knobs. So this is where we were first attracted to the system more, as another way of engaging with parameters. So you can take, make a, a virtual acoustic instrument, say a, a clarinet, and you can make it suddenly 20 feet long. And those kind of real-time parameter changes that, that actually still obey physical laws, so they're still familiar, we still recognize, oh, that's just a bigger clarinet, are present, but it's also got some uncanniness to it. It's doing something that, you know, we can't do with real materials in the real world.